you this viewing across the country and around the world. This telecast is emanating from the beautiful International Gospel Center, 375 Salyette East Coast, Michigan. You may ask, where is East Coast? Well, it's just a suburb of Detroit. When you say East Coast, it's like saying Detroit. So we're welcoming you. Our doors swing on the hinges of welcome. Wherever you are, whoever you are, you're welcome in this place. This is God's house. Shake hands as you be seated. Said God is here today. Tell somebody God is here today. God is in his sanctuary. Let the whole earth keep silent before him. Come on somebody. God is good, isn't he? He will give you power in every hour to make it through. We thank God for all of our delegates that's coming from across the country in different parts of the world. Welcome. God is in this place. And wherever you find God, there's peace there, there's joy, there's contentment, and deep down satisfaction. You know what? You can only find satisfaction in God. And here we're saying satisfaction guaranteed. Amen. Peace guaranteed. Joy guaranteed. I'm not talking about, amen, the, the, the fun you have at a football game, a basketball game. That's fun. But in Christ, you can have real joy. I'm talking about the joy that's unspeakable and full of glory. You that have your Bibles, turn with me to the book of Acts. Chapter 1 and beginning with the fourth verse. The word of the Lord is coming from the writings of Dr. Luke. Somebody got a serious problem. We have doctors in the house today. We appreciate all of the doctors that's a part of this ministry. In every facet, in every profession, we welcome you. We need all of this, these gifts and these talents in the ministry. And when God is delivering people, I'm sending them back to the doctor. If it's of God, it'll stand the test. If you're afraid of it, something is wrong with it. Touch somebody, say, you're in the right place. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. And God, Christianity has stood the test of time. And I know how the church is going to end up. I'm not worried about the church. Because Jesus said, upon this rock, I will build my church. Now, I don't know what kind of church you may be in, but God's church is going to stand. Hallelujah. We're going to go through turbulence. We're going to go through deep waters. But you know what? When the storm pass over, we're going to shout hallelujah. We're coming through with victory. So here, amen. And somebody say, if you've got a medical problem, see your doctor. Amen. And we're going to Dr. Luke. He wrote the book of Acts. And here in chapter 1, and begin with verse 4, you will find these words of inspiration. These words of faith and power and being assembled together with them commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem but wait for the promise of the Father which saith he, ye have heard of me. For John truly baptized with water but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. When they therefore were come together they asked of him saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel. He saith unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. Somebody say power. <laughs> but, <laughs> I love it, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea, and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the world. And I enjoyed that song from Sister Vicky. He'll give you power in every hour. What power to go through. Amen. And listen, say what you will. We need this power. And I'm using the, amen, the theme today extracting from these verses. Power from on high. Sub theme, we need this power. Amen. Hallelujah. Raise your right hand. Say, Lord, Lord I, need power I need power from on high. From on high. And then touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor, neighbor. whether you believe it or not, you, it or not you may not know it, you know but, it. You but you need this power. this power. Hallelujah. You need this power. Amen. Not another power, but this power. Holy Ghost power. 
Amen. See, amen. The Holy Ghost just going to come to save us. He convict us. Amen. But listen, we say by the blood. This is the blood that washes away our sin. The question was asked and reverberated. Came down through 42 generations. Amen. And it cleansed that generation and it's cleansing our generation. And yet unborn generation to come. And what can wash away my sins? But the answer came back, nothing. I want you to get it. Nothing but the blood. Come on, somebody. And John in Revelation said, without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sins. So it's the blood that washes us. It's the blood that cleanses us. Amen. And thank God for Jesus. He is salvation. He is our Savior. And listen, I'm wrapped up in Jesus. Amen. He is the man. Because in St. John 1 and 1 said, In the beginning was the Word. The Word's with God, and the Word was God. All things were made by Him, and there was nothing made that was made that was not made by Him. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and darkness comprehended it not. Then He said He was in the world, and the world knew Him not. Then He came unto His own, and His own received Him not, but to as many as received him to them gave he power to become the sons of God but so it goes right back we need this power and I'm gonna tell you just like the Bible declared it amen and I like to look at it in these terms God thought it Jesus wrote it the Holy Ghost wrote it amen Jesus brought it the Holy Ghost wrote it the devil fought it but thank God you and I we got it I know that to be right Amen. The devil is a mean devil. And then John 10.10 10 said, The thief, referring to the devil, cometh not but to steal, kill, and destroy. Oh, but if he'd have left it there, he'd have hung us out to dry. But he didn't leave us out there hanging. But then he said, But I am come. There's a conjunction there. Thank God for the conjunction. But I am come that you may have life, that you may have it more abundantly. Hallelujah. And then when you have him, whosoever hath the son, have life. And then the scripture said, in him we move, we live, and we have our being. Thank God. And I don't know, since he's living in me, I can feel him moving and hallelujah, growing in me. Thank God. The more strength you get, the more power you get. The more power you get, the stronger you get. And let's face it, let's face reality. You can't be like an ostrich. Bury your head in the sand and act as though it's not there. No, this devil is playing for keeps now. Years ago, when I first got saved, looked like the devil used to run games and play games. But honey, amen, he's not playing games no more. He's playing for keeps. And what are you saying? It's one thing to get saved. It's another thing to stay saved. It's one thing to get delivered. It's another thing to stay delivered. Come on here, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. And let's face it, amen. And when you feel yourself getting weak, put on strength. Somebody said, how can I put on strength? I put on strength by prayer. Put on strength by fasting. Put on strength by Bible reading. Put on strength by obedience. Come on here, somebody. Obedience is your way out. Your obedience is your key. Whatever you're going through, amen. And when you have power to rebuke the devil, he'll leave you alone. And you know what? Preacher Bound, way back in the Apostle Session, you used to be a junior pastor under the late, my friend, Apostle Arturo Skinner. Amen. And you used to hit old saints. We got to come back. Amen. We got to bring it back in center stage. Bring it back where it used to be. Job says some have removed the landmarks, but we got to put them back in their original position. Oh, you're going to catch me after a while. I might have went, ran down the road and left it, but you're going to catch up with me after a while. We need this power. Amen. Thank God. And, and the old saints, when I got saved, you could hear a saint breaking out over here, Hal. Say, glory. Service is like a little uh, amen on the quiet side. Amen on the slow side. But the Holy Ghost is moving. Holy Ghost speak on the side. Say, glory. Another one will get the witness on the other side. Say, Hallelujah. That's the Holy Ghost talking in the church. Amen and hallelujah. Then you see a hand go up here. Hallelujah. Double hands over here. And then the old saints used to say, Shama. Oh, uh, yeah. Higher. Remember that? Higher. 
Amen. And some of the saints didn't even know 